Ever since the Chinese rover, Chang'e 5, successfully reached the moon's surface, we've been presented with mounting evidence that this celestial body is vastly different from our previous assumptions. Particularly within its interior, the moon seems to conceal treasures that were previously unknown to us. The rover's astonishing discoveries have the potential to have a profound and lasting impact on our world. In this video, we'll delve into the specific findings made by the Chang'e 5 rover deep within the moon's surface. These revelations could change our understanding of the moon's composition and its potential significance for humanity. Additionally, we'll explore how this discovery might offer solutions to the climate catastrophe we're currently facing. So, stay tuned, as we're about to take a closer look at the incredible discoveries of the Chang'e rover and how they could forever change your perspective on this celestial body. The Chang'e 5 mission made its historic landing on the moon on December 1, 2020, after a 23-day journey through space. Launched from the Wenching spacecraft launch site in China's Hainan province, this site has been known for hosting previous missions like Chang'e 3, various satellites, and supply flights for the Chinese space station. After successfully separating from the orbiter, Chang'e 5's lander touched down in a lunar region known as Oceanus, a vast flat area on the far side of the moon near the lunar equator. The primary objective of the mission was crystal clear. The nearly 8-ton probe was tasked with collecting samples from the lunar surface and bringing lunar rocks back to Earth, marking the first time this had been done in 40 years. For the first time in human history, the mission aimed to extract samples from the moon's deep layers, driven by recent discoveries suggesting that the moon might be very different from what we had long believed. Scientists speculated that the moon could potentially harbor a significant reservoir of mineral resources, possibly offering solutions to our energy problems. After successful drilling, the lander sent the collected samples back to its orbiter through the ascent module, initiating the return journey to Earth, which took only 14 Earth days. The entire mission was celebrated worldwide as a remarkable achievement for Chinese space travel elevating China's status among the great space-faring nations of our planet. The return of the lunar samples was eagerly anticipated by international researchers, and their hopes for new groundbreaking insights about the moon were more than fulfilled. The mission marked a momentous milestone in our understanding of the moon and the potential it holds for future scientific exploration and resource utilization. Meanwhile, on December 17, 2020, the return capsule safely re-entered Earth's atmosphere, landing in the sparsely populated region of Mongolia. As soon as the precious samples were secured, the experts eagerly began their analysis. The anticipation was palpable as they sought to confirm existing theories about the moon's formation or uncover an entirely new truth hidden within its interior. For years, scientists believed that the moon was created over 4 billion years ago, when a planet the size of Mars collided with Earth. During this cosmic impact, a portion of the Earth broke off and was engulfed in molten rock. It was commonly assumed that the extreme temperatures during this event caused all water to evaporate, leaving the Moon as a celestial body that was slowly drying out over time. However, recent discoveries challenged this narrative. Telescopes and probes revealed significant deposits of water ice and craters near the lunar poles. This revelation sparked questions about the source of the moon's water and why it hadn't been detected during more than five decades of intense lunar exploration. NASA's Artemis mission planned to send astronauts near the lunar poles in the next decade to investigate the potential utilization of these water deposits. The water could be a valuable resource for sustaining human life, growing plants, and producing fuel in a future permanent moon station. But then, Chang'e 5's discovery came into play, potentially altering all these plans. In the drill samples obtained by researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, they found an unusually high density of tiny glass particles, which likely formed from meteorite impacts on the moon. These glass beads might have carried water to the moon, which then froze at the poles. The groundbreaking revelation came when the researchers examined these glass beads more closely. Each minuscule particle contained a small portion of water, but when calculated collectively, 
The water deposits on the moon were found to be immense. The entire moon is estimated to contain 2,000 kilograms of water per metric ton of lunar soil. This translates to approximately 2,000 liters under Earth conditions in liquid form. The possibility that these glass particles are widely distributed across the moon is high due to the moon's continuous bombardment by comets, asteroids, and meteorites over billions of years. This suggests that water could be abundant on the moon, from the equator to the poles. Furthermore, the water from these glass beads can be easily extracted through heating, providing moon settlers with accessible fresh water throughout the celestial body. Researchers also discovered that the water enclosed within the lunar crystals was once produced by the sun. Positively charged hydrogen atoms from the solar wind combined with oxygen in the glass beads, leading to the creation of water. According to current estimates, the total water wealth in the form of impact glass beads on the moon is estimated to be around 298.7 billion short tons. This remarkable discovery not only changes our perspective on the moon, but also opens up exciting possibilities for future lunar missions and the potential for human colonization on this fascinating celestial neighbor. The moon, once thought to be dry and barren, could, in fact, hold the key to supporting future human endeavors beyond our home planet. The glass beads revealed more than just water. This recent exciting discovery could potentially spark a race to the moon. The samples obtained by the Chinese space probe are one of a kind. Collected from deep layers, they are approximately a billion years older than the samples collected from the moon's surface during the American Apollo program. These glass beads are likely formed over the past two billion years through numerous massive impacts from meteorites, asteroids, and comets. To generate the required temperatures for their formation, impacts of dimensions comparable to the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs on Earth about 68 million years ago were necessary. Despite being a relatively small celestial body, the Moon has endured massive cosmic influences throughout its history. Surprisingly, the Moon has managed to withstand these bombardments quite well, thanks in part to its low density and a thick cushioning layer of dust. Its tumultuous past may have resulted in various peculiarities that could hold significant benefits for our future. Chang E5 made another crucial discovery within the lunar rock, a moon crystal composed of a substance previously unknown to researchers. This structure contains a crucial component for nuclear fusion. While we have been relying on nuclear fission to meet our energy needs, the radioactive waste it generates has become a significant issue. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, involves the fusion of light atomic nuclei into heavier ones, releasing a much larger amount of energy without producing harmful residues. Scientists worldwide have been pursuing nuclear fusion technology for decades, but achieving the necessary pressure and energy input for nuclear fusion has been a challenge. However, this new discovery offers hope as it presents a mineral or atom with an inherent readiness for fusion. The Beijing Research Institution of Uranium Geology will conduct further research to determine whether the fusion-ready helium-3 isotope can be utilized on Earth. Could this lead to mining operations on the Moon? Could spacecraft bring Moon rock to Earth on a regular basis? And could this offer our planet some respite from its energy demands? The answers to these questions remain uncertain. The upcoming Shenyu-6 mission, scheduled to start in 2024, will collect additional samples from the far side of the moon and return them to Earth, potentially unveiling even more surprises. As we bid farewell, we would love to hear your thoughts on the moon as a resource for Earth. Do you believe it's only a matter of time or perhaps even fate that the solutions to our energy problems lie on the moon? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Until next time.